Hi, it's Jenny with Jenny's Read the Teak, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how to make a gorgeous fall magnolia wreath that comes together so quickly you can make this in under 10 minutes. The materials you're going to need for this wreath are a 14 inch grapevine. Of course, you can adjust this to whatever size wreath you want. This will make about a 23, 24 inch size wreath, and we're going to use our magnolia leaves. I was just walking around in Hobby Lobby. I was there for something completely different and I was checking out the fall stems and I came across these magnolia leaves. These are new for fall this year and I love them. The quality is really, really good. Very pleasantly surprised by these. So I grabbed three stems. They're pretty large. <laughs> and I, so I grabbed three stems and we're going to make a wreath with this. Very excited. We're also going to need hot glue and hot glue gun. My favorite wire cutters and some floral wire. The floral wire I like to use is 24 gauge, but you can use 22 gauge or 26 gauge depending on what you like. I like a happy medium of 24 gauge. These do have thicker stems, so I highly recommend these wire cutters. I have them linked in the description of this video and they cut this very nicely. So each one of these stems has a longer bunch and a smaller bunch. So what we're going to do with this wreath is we're going to be turning it a little bit so it goes along the grain of the grapevine, along the curve, but we're also going to be, see how some leaves are facing forward, some are facing backward? We're going to adjust this a little bit. By doing that, if you want more of the leaves facing forward, you're just going to twist them forward. Very simple. I like the look of some of them facing backward, but not all of them. So I'm just going to leave some of them that way and some of them I'm going to leave the other way. So we're going to glue our stem. I like gluing up the stem quite a bit and we place it along the grain of the grapevine. These are thicker stems so you don't want a super tight weave on your grapevine. See how this is just nice along the grain, nothing pokes out the back. And now we're going to take our floral wire. This is going to add extra security since we're keeping our stem pretty long. And this is why this wreath goes by so fast. So I just make a U with my wire and I go around the middle, about the middle of our stem and I poke it through the grapevine. Then I twist it along the back to secure it. I usually twist like this because it makes it really tight and it's fast. And then you just tuck the wires into the grapevine so nobody gets poked. I'm going to move this one around. So you can also take it off. See how I took that off? Dab some glue and then glue it back on forward. Just in case the twisting makes you worried you're going to break it, you can also just do that really, really easily. So now that we have that in place, we're going to take our shorter stem and do the same thing. We're just going to be overlapping and I'm going to twist this one so it's facing forward and then we're going to glue. And we're bending the stem so it fits the shape of our grapevine. Look how everything just lays so pretty and naturally. I love it. Once again, I'm going to turn some of the leaves facing forward, bend our stem so it goes along the grain of the grapevine.
Now with our last piece, we want to make sure it fills in nice and evenly. You lift up the piece before, stick it under. We'll tie that down and then do any adjustments we need to after that. Now that all our pieces are tied in, we're just gonna bend any stems that are sticking out too far. Like that one. And adjust anything that looks out of place. But the beauty of magnolia wreaths is that they're a little bit wild. They're not perfectly in place. All the leaves aren't perfectly placed. I like the natural look of this. And look how gorgeous it is. And it came together in, under 10 minutes, so, so pretty. And if you like less of the brown and you want more of the orange, just turn some over, it's super easy. This is what the back looks like. It's super clean, really nice. And we have a nice, gorgeous, high-end looking wreath that we made from Hobby Lobby in under 10 minutes. If you want a cheat sheet of my favorite places to get floral supplies for wreath making, both retail and wholesale, I have a link in my description where you can grab that free cheat sheet. And like I said, these are all from Hobby Lobby, a nice retail place, so easy to get. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.